Hey everyone, at Builder.io, we've got this cool AI launch event happening on March 13th. It's all about design to code using AI with your design systems. If that sounds interesting, come join me at accelerate.builder.io. We've also got this awesome dynamic ticket generation feature where you can whip up your own custom ticket with your email or a domain. Enter twitch.com for instance, and bam, you get a ticket that screams Twitch Wipes. I thought it would be cool to share how we implemented this feature. While the site is built with Quick, I'm going to show you how to recreate this ticket generation feature using React and an Express server, and it'll only take about five to 10 minutes of your time. You're most welcome to implement the same logic in a framework of your choice. Let's begin. I have a React app scaffolded using Vite and a Node Express app. Let's start with the API first. The goal of the Express app is to create an API endpoint that given a domain name returns information to be used for the ticket, primarily the brand colors. Using Express and course packages, we have a basic Hello World endpoint set up on port 3000. Navigating to localhost 3000 should return hello world string as a response. Let's set up a new route, slash ticket. We will assume the domain is passed in as a query parameter. Google offers a URL that can automatically pull the free icon image of any domain. Let's define that URL. Next, we will make use of an NPM package called color thief. Given an image, it can return the primary color and a palette of colors used in the image. Import the package and use it on the fav icon. The methods return promises, so make sure to await both of them using promise.all rather than a sequential await, which can be slower. You now have access to the primary brand color and the entire palette in RGB. The next step is to determine a secondary accent color. You want this to contrast with your primary color as much as possible. Using the RGB values generated by the Color Thief package, you can write a function that finds the contrasting color in the palette. I'll skip explaining the math logic here, but you can find the code on my GitHub repo. We now have the primary and secondary colors. Now you can work with the RGB color format, but for simplicity, let's return hex color codes from the API. Define a function, RGB to hex, which does this conversion. The final step is to determine if the color is dark or light. This is important for deciding what the font color should be on the ticket for accessibility. For dark primary and secondary colors, you would want white as the font color, and for lighter colors, you would want black. You can determine this using the color's luminance. Write a function that determines if a given color is dark. Again, all the color-related functions are available on the internet and my GitHub repo, so as long as you understand the intention, you don't have to worry about the math. Now that all the ticket information has been calculated, return the domain, the fav icon URL, the primary color in both RGB and hex formats, the secondary color in both RGB and hex formats, and whether the two colors are dark. If you navigate to localhost 3000 slash ticket with builder.io as the domain, you should see the API returning the ticket information. This core logic is the magic behind it all. The remaining part is connecting the API to the UI with React. Let me walk you through the code. In app.jsx, create an input to accept the domain name. The value is managed as a state variable. When the enter key is pressed, call a fetch ticket info function, which makes a call to our express API, passing in the domain as a query parameter. Convert the response to JSON and store it in a ticket info state variable. Pass it as props to a ticket component. 
The ticket component is a straightforward React with Tailwind CSS component. Since it is primarily HTML and CSS, I won't go through the code line by line. However, I will highlight two things. First, with Tailwind CSS, remember that dynamic class names that aren't composed properly won't be compiled. You can address this in a cleaner way, but for simplicity, I have chosen to use the style attribute. Remember, progress is better than perfection. The second thing to highlight is the path start method available on JavaScript's string type. In our case, we add extra zeros to the start of the ticket number to ensure it is seven digits long. Ticket numbers like one or two don't look as great compared to numbers with leading zeros. It also helps maintain consistency in the UI. It's a useful utility to keep in mind if you weren't already aware of it. And that is how you create the ticket generation experience seen on accelerate.builder.io. The event is on the 13th of March, so make sure to register and see how our product can help you at work. Let me know in the comment section if these type of videos are helpful so I can do this more often. Thank you for watching and I'll see you during the event.